Hello and welcome to second Pixie Editor tutorial. In this video we are going to talk about tools. I am using version 1.0.1.0 and let's get started. Um, so, the tools can be found on the left side of the screen. Um, you can access it by clicking it with your mouse or just by pressing uh, shortcuts like B for brush or pen tool, uh, E for eraser and so on. Okay, so the first tool we have here is a move viewport tool. It is used to move the uh, canvas around, just like that. Um, the second tool is rotate viewport. Um, it's like the name says, used for rotating the viewport. Um, the third tool we have here is a move tool. Uh, it is used to move parts of images, just like that. Um, you can move either selected layer, currently selected layer, or multiple layers, just like that, or every layer by holding control. Almost the same as before. There are also uh, tool settings up here. For example, Move Tool has a setting called Keep Original Image. After you select it, uh, you can achieve some interesting effects. Just like that. Okay, but let's undo everything. Uh, great, uh, the fourth tool is the most basic tool, which is a pen. Mm, it's very simple. Select the color and just draw around. Uh, it, is, it also has some settings like tool size and pixel perfect. Tool size can be increased um, to whatever value, value you want, just like that, and you draw bigger strokes. And pixel perfect is like a special mode that allows for more precise edge drawing, uh, or rather you don't need to be so precise to create nice looking edges. Great. Next on the list is um, Select tool, which is used to make a selection. Um, just click and create one. Easy. Uh, it also has a few settings, like a mode. Uh, let's start with new mode. It just creates new selection each time. Um, add mode adds selection to current selection, just like that. Subtract subtracts selection from existing one and intersects creates intersection between existing and new selections. Just like that. Um, okay, there is also a shape. You can either specify a rectangle or circle as a shape. Uh, let's select the new mode and rectangle and we have rectangle. There's also a circle. Uh, it may look very precise. It's not um, like aligned to pixels, but when you draw on it, as you can see, it creates circular mask. Cool. Um, another selection tool is magic wand. Magic wand is used to uh, like select uh, areas with the same color. Okay, in this case I have um, selected shadow layer, but when I select base layer um, I can just like fluid fill selection. Um, it also has the same mode settings as previous tool and also additional setting uh, called scope. Uh, it's either single layer or all, ra all layers. All layers uh, considers every single layer whenever making like this flat selection and single layer of the works in selected layer. It also supports multiple layer selection, so if you select two tools, uh, two layers, uh, you can um, affect only those two layers. Great. Okay, the last selection tool we have is Lasso. Uh, Lasso is a tool that creates like freeform selection. Also the same to the settings like modes add, subtract, intersect. 
Okay, uh, the next very basic tool is a flat fill, uh, which is essentially a bucket uh, that drops fills area with a co with a color. Uh, it's very simple. You just click and change the color of the area. Works the same way as magic wand, but doesn't have any settings. Uh, you just draw, you, you just make a full fill on selected layer, and that's. It. Okay, we have three shape tools uh, available in this version of Pixiviter. The first one is line tool, um, which creates lines. You just click and drag. Uh, after you release the mouse, there are two dots and also an arrow. You can uh, freely modify this uh, this line before you apply it to an image. Also move move it. You just hit apply transform to to add it. Okay. Um, next shape tool is an um, is ellipse. Ellipse is is used to create sphere, spheres and um, and circles, just like that. Uh, when you hold shift, uh, you you can easily draw perfect circles. Okay, it works fairly the same as line tool. So after you release the mouse, um, you can uh, freely modify it along. But now along nine points. Ellipse tool also has three settings: um, tool size, which is just like in um, pen tool. You can just se select four, and you have a thicker circle. There's also a fill shape, uh, which uh, enables f f uh, circle with a fill. You can specify the color here of the fill. Great, and the last um, last uh, shape tool is rectangle tool. It works exactly the same as circle tool. Cool. Um, okay, so we are almost at the end. Um, we have eraser, which is a simple eraser. You just click and erase pixels. <laughs> it also has tool size. Okay. Um, last of three, um, pick color picker. Color picker is used to um, select colors from the canvas. So we just click on the canvas and pick the color from selected pixel. As you can see, uh, the primary color is changing when I click. Great, you, uh, you can also select scope from all layers to single layer. And also there is a special mode that allows picking colors from the reference layer. Click Ctrl to hide your canvas and only show the reference layer and pick colors from it. Great. Um, you can see on the bottom of the screen that uh, tools have different messages. Like whenever you select a pen tool, for example, it says what you can do with it. Um, click and move to draw a line. Hold shift to enable snapping and so on. So if you uh, are stuck and don't know if you can do something with tool, just check out the message on the bottom. Last of two, we have a brightness tool. Brightness tool allows to change brightness of pixels. So we just select it and click on the canvas. We, we will try to change background color. As you can see, when I click once, this pixel gets a little brighter. Multiple times, even brighter. Uh, great. When you hold control, you, you are doing the same, but make pixel, pixel darker. Just like that. You can specify strength of uh, this lightening and darkening. So when I set it to one, the uh, click makes changes more sub subtle. But when I select the strength to 10, um, pixels are changing way more rapidly. But let's go back to five. 
And the last tool is a zoom tool, which allows to uh, zoom canvas by just dragging your mouse. Very useful when you uh, use a digital pen instead of a mouse. Okay, and that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. There is also a repeat mode that uh, basically allows multiple um, pixel changing after you uh, already made it uh, brighter or darker. Uh, to, compar to compare it with default mode, when I try to do the same like here, the fuck I can. <laughs> I love this. And also, uh, you are able to um, rotate it and skew it. Although I'm kidding, you cannot skew it and rotate it. Love.